Welcome to another Center Stage. Today we're going to talk with uh, Sheriff Mike Grantham about a very important subject, and that is starting January 1st, 2023, Alabama becomes what is commonly called a constitutional carry state. We still have people asking a bunch of questions. A lot of people are thinking, especially a lot of convicted felons, they think that they can start carrying pistols. Now mm -hmm. this law does not apply a convicted felon. Now if you're a convicted felon, the law still applies that you can't be around a handgun or a rifle or any type of firearm. Right. That's that, nationwide. You are convicted of a felony. You lose your right to That's carry right. a firearm. That's right. Now, there is a way you can get around that. You can actually go to state pardons and parole. they got good people down there, and they help you get a pardon. But you have to get... Now, when a lot of people get a pardon, they only get their voting rights back and don't get their gun rights back. I see. So make sure you're applying for both of them when you do do that. Okay. So that's important. But what the new law is saying is, you know, up until January the 1st of this year, you had to have a pistol permit in the state of Alabama to carry a concealed gun. Right. A uh, pistol or whatever, any type of thing you concealed. And a lot of people misinterpreted that is that a car is considered concealed, no matter where it's at. Yeah, we talked about yeah. that last time. So you step in a car because you're cut, encased in a roof. Right. And you got panels around your door, yeah. so it's concealed. You actually can't see it. Right. So, and that's what concealed means. That's what that permit gave you. It gave you permission to carry. Now, and, and hide the weapon in your jacket pocket, mm -hmm. in your purse, mm -hmm. in your glove box, or anything like that. But now, and, and a lot of people understand that we've been a, a right to carry state for years. And when that means that you can walk down Broad Street just like me with your pistol on your side, right. exposed. Exposed. Not concealed. That is the big not difference concealed. a lot of people don't understand. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand this too. And we get calls from time to time with merchants. If that, if that retail store or gas station or a restaurant has a little Ghostbuster sign with a firearm in there, mm -hmm. it's privately owned, you cannot walk in there with right. that pistol. You cannot walk in there with that pistol. Private They're, property can, you can, they can make their they own can, rules. That's right. You don't, you're not, you know, you can't carry concealed or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if it's concealed, they're not going to see it. But if they do happen to see it, yeah. you know, you're not supposed to go in there. So be respectful of that.